Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? This is Seaball Yousaf, aka Chris, checking in for another video commentary. So for today's video, I have something very special planned, something I don't think any of you guys have ever seen before. It's what I like to call the GGDD Challenge, or the Gun Game Dolphin Dive Challenge. Now for those of you tryhards out there wondering, what the heck is this weirdo talking about? It's a challenge to win a match of gun game, where in order to advance to the next weapon tier, you have to dolphin dive in into every single gun kill you get. Now however, as you just barely saw, you can knife someone and you don't have to dolphin dive into that. However, every single gun kill that you get that ranks you up, you have to dolphin dive into. And also you can't just dolphin dive into some random obscure corner of the map and then just lay there on the ground waiting for someone to walk past you. You can only be on the ground for a second or two after a dolphin dive before you have to get up, move on, and dolphin dive again. And uh, yeah, this challenge was one of those things for me in COD where you get really pissed, annoyed, and frustrated while doing it. However, it feels so good once you finally get it done. And I know, that's what she said! <laughs> but uh, yeah, getting past the snipers on this challenge, not very much fun, because uh, I'm a pretty good sniper myself. I'm not like amazing. I'm not going to be pulling 360 YY ladder stall no scopes off anytime soon. I'm not going to be putting up those montage, those sniper montages anytime. But I can hold my own and I do p pretty decently while sniping in this game. But uh, yeah, when you're dolphin diving into a sniper kill, oh my gosh, it is so freaking hard to do. Like, for those of you who don't think it's going to be that hard, I challenge you to uh, go do that and see how many times you um, actually get a kill while doing that because it's hard enough to get a shot lined up that's actually a decent shot to take with a sniper but then to actually get good enough luck that you can time the dolphin dive perfectly and have them lined up perfectly and then actually hit the shot you gotta have a lot of things go in your favor to be able to get that done so getting past the snipers was hard but uh, if that, as if that wasn't hard enough, once you get past the snipers, then you gotta move on to the Law and the Grim Reaper. And those things are a pain in the butt. I can't tell you how many times I was so happy that I finally got past the Law 2K, only to advance to the Grim Reaper and then shoot the ground. Look at this fail right here. Oh, baby. That's what I call skill. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then I'd end up shooting the ground right in front of myself with the Grim Reaper and blow myself up and set myself back to the snipers. And <laughs> that is so aggravating when you do that. So yeah, this challenge definitely had a lot of things in it that kind of made me go rage mode a little bit. However, I, I got, was able to hold it together long enough to be able to complete the challenge. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with... Uh, myself for completing this and we got another fail off there for <laughs> you see my crouch right there for some reason I thought I was still in tactic uh, default layout cuz I um, been doing some knife only stuff before this and usually I play on tactical however when I do knife only I'm on default so yeah that's why I crouched instead of knifing him back there but uh <laughs> yeah so this this challenge it's it's kinda difficult it's Really rewarding and awesome once you complete it, however, <laughs> be prepared to go a little bit of rage mode, for at least for a little while if you try this. And uh, yeah, this is an open challenge to anyone, and I encourage you guys to all go out there and try this challenge, because uh, if you guys are anything like me, you have to do um, weird stuff like this every once in a while just to keep the game fresh, because uh, I enjoy multiplayer a lot, and I still do. Um, enjoy playing Black Ops multiplayer even this long after it came out and this is the main multiplayer I play. I don't play Modern Warfare 3 very often. But uh yeah I need to do something like this or uh other unique stuff that'll be coming up on my channel every once in a while. Otherwise I just get too bored of it and I can't stand doing it. So yeah, I encourage you guys to try out doing this too. And uh for any of you guys uh any of you guys who can complete this challenge Feel free to leave a uh, video response on this video with your video where you complete it, and I will definitely accept that and hopefully get you a couple of views. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about the uh, GGDD challenge for this video. And the other thing I want to talk about for this video is my origins in gaming. And uh, my very first video game I ever played, I believe, was Oregon, Tra <laughs> Oregon Trail back on the uh, computer. And. Uh, <laughs> For those of you who have never played that game, don't bother, it's uh, <laughs> not really 
gonna blow your socks off. It's not the best game you'll ever play. But it was fun back in the day when I was like seven. And <laughs> so yeah, and then the very first uh, console we got was an N64, and I loved playing Legend of Zelda. I think it was the Ocarina of Time, I believe. I don't know. I haven't played it in like 12 years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was our first console. And then after the N64, we had a brief stint with the Sega Dreamcast. And I don't really remember a whole lot about that system because we only had a... Well, we still have it to this day. I just um, didn't play it very often. I think we only played it for like a year or so before we ended up getting the uh, next console that we we're upgrading to, which was the PS2. And the PS2 is where I really started my gaming background, because uh, back on the Dreamcast and the N64, I played uh, every once in a while here and there, but not until we got the PS2, and I played some of the games on that system. Not until then did I start playing um, video games on a regular basis. And some of my favorite games on the PS2, uh, my favorite one was Star Wars Battlefront. And I will always love that game, as well as its uh, sequel, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Those will always be my two favorite video games of uh, all time, just because they were freaking awesome. And before that, I hadn't really played... Um, I had never played a shooting game before those two, so those two ended up getting me into the uh, shooting genre, which is now my favorite um, genre to play so I will always love those two games and uh, other shooting games that I played back in the day on my PS2 were was uh, Medal of Honor and I really liked that series I haven't will say I haven't played any of them since I think like European Assault or something like that it was one of the old school ones back on PS2 I haven't played any of the recent ones but I'm thinking about getting Warfighter and might as well give it a try I mean I'm looking for something new and a shooter because I still enjoy COD but I wouldn't mind getting something else thrown into the mix every once in a while here and there. So yeah, I'm thinking I might try out that game because uh, I already have a good history with the series and want to try something new. But uh, yeah, and then after that we got a Wii and this is where I got my first taste of a COD game with World at War on the Wii. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking, like, what the heck, why would you do that? Why would you play any game on the Wii? And for any of you guys who have never played a COD on the Wii, go try it. It is really fun. I mean, it's, if you play on a uh, Xbox or a PS3 or a PC or whatever you play on, it's going to look like crap and it's not going to be anything compared to what you're used to playing. However, it is so much fun just to screw around on a the Wii version of COD and it's really fun. And then I finally got my 360 with Modern Warfare 2 and I've since um, bought every single COD game from COD 4 on and played it on Xbox. However, I will say out of all the COD so far, um, Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite COD of all time when you're not dealing with constant noob tubes. When you're dealing with noob tubes left and right, that game sucks, but when you're not dealing with noob tubes all the time, it is a freaking fun game to play and I really wish that it didn't have those problems that it has because if it didn't it would be a freaking awesome game well guys that's about it for this video let me know down below in the comment section your origins in gaming and what your favorite game of all time is also let me know what you thought of the GGDD challenge and if you'd like to see more unique content like that in the future I hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a nice day